This video is an instructional tool owned by the Division of Negros Oriental. The division acknowledges the intellectual property rights of the owner of the pictures, illustrations, music, and other similar materials used. This video is made to address the need of grade 11 learners of Negros Oriental, especially in this time of pandemic. Hello there, my amazing grade 11 learners! Are you now ready for another day of fun learning? This is Teacher Chona, and get ready as I share to you another lesson on Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business, and Management 1. Are you all excited? Great! Come and join me, and together, let us explore the world of accounting. Before we proceed to our topic today, let us have a short review first by answering these questions. What is accounting equation? The relationship between the three basic accounting elements, namely asset, liability, and owner's equity, can be expressed in the form of a simple equation known as the accounting equation. The basic accounting equation is expressed as asset is equal to liability plus owner's equity. What are the five major accounts? The five major accounts are asset, liability, owner's equity or capital, revenue, and expense. Now, try to examine the statement. Anna invested 50,000 pesos cash to open a small printing house near the school. What have you observed from the statement? Yes, the statement contains the words invested, cash, and an amount of money which is 50,000 pesos. What does this statement indicate? Yes, you are right. It indicates a business transaction. Do you have any guess about our lesson for today? Very good! Our lesson for today is solving simple problems and exercises in the analysis of business transaction. Let us now start our discussion by reading this sample situation. Pedro decided to open his computer repair shop on May 14, 2021, naming it Pedro Computer Repairs. Pedro knows that business transactions should be separated from personal finances. This time, let us analyze together the following business transactions. Business transaction number one. Pedro invested 500,000 pesos cash in his Pedro computer repairs. Now, let us see the effects of this business transaction using the basic accounting equation. For asset, there is an increase of cash, 500,000 pesos no effect for liability, and an increase of 500,000 pesos under owner's equity using Pedro Capital account. Notice that the effects of this transaction from the left to the right side of the formula is equal. Business transaction number two. On May 15, 2021, Pedro purchased one computer unit from XY Computer Store to be used for the business in the amount of 50,000 pesos. Now, let us analyze this business transaction. For asset, there is an increase of 50,000 pesos for office equipment. 
and a decrease of 50,000 pesos for cash. No effect for liability and at the same time, no effect for owner's equity. This business transaction only affects the asset side of the equation. Business transaction number three. On May 16, 2021, Pedro hired Amanda, an experienced secretary. There is no effect on the accounting equation because it is not a financial transaction. Business transaction number four. On May 17, 2021, Pedro Computer Repairs repaired the computer of Juan and collected 20,000 pesos. The 20,000 pesos collected from Juan will be recorded under asset as an increase of cash. Also, it is recorded as an increase in owner's equity using service revenue account. What if the service rendered to a customer is on account or not yet paid? Let's have this example. Business transaction number 5. On May 18, 2021, Pedro Computer Repairs repaired Maria's computer. However, Maria promised to pay 30,000 pesos on June 18, 2021. In this case, no cash collection was made since Maria promised to pay it on June 18, 2021. This business transaction still affects an asset account, particularly accounts receivable for 30,000 pesos. On the other hand, this business transaction also affects the owner's equity under service revenue account since the service was already rendered. Business transaction number 6. On May 19, 2021, Pedro purchased office supplies from Cabs merchandise amounting to 20,000 pesos on account and he promised to pay on June 30, 2021. In this business transaction, there is an increase of office supplies for asset amounting to 20,000 pesos as well as an increase of 20,000 pesos under liability using accounts payable account. Business transaction number 7. On May 25, 2021, Pedro paid the salary of his secretary Amanda amounting to 8,000 pesos. The effects of this transaction is a decrease in cash under asset and a decrease in owner's equity using salary's expense account amounting to 8,000 pesos. This is now the summary of the transactions using the accounting equation. As you can see, the total amount of asset is equal to the sum of the amount of liability and owner's equity. Again, in analyzing business transactions, we need to consider its effects to the different accounts using the accounting equation. And do not forget the total asset is always equal to the sum of liability and owner's equity. Are you now ready for the final activity? Great! Have your pen and paper handy and get ready. Identify the effects of the following business transactions using the basic accounting equation. I am giving you 20 seconds to answer every after a transaction is given. 
On June 1, Maya Cruz opened the Maya Beauty Salon. During the first month, the following selected transactions occurred. Number 1. Maya Cruz invested 5,000 pesos cash in the business. The answer is increase in cash 5,000 pesos and increase in cruise capital 5,000 pesos. Number two, she paid 800 pesos cash for beauty supplies. The answer is increase in beauty supplies 800 pesos and decrease in cash 800 pesos. Number 3. She purchased equipment at a cost of 12,000 pesos paying 2,000 pesos in cash and the balance is on account. The answer is increase in equipment 12,000 pesos, decrease in cash 2,000 pesos, and increase in accounts payable 10,000 pesos. Number 4. She received 1,200 pesos cash for service rendered. The answer is increase in cash 1,200 pesos and increase in service revenue 1,200 pesos. To summarize the answers, let us compute for the total asset, total liability, and total owner's equity. And we have 16,200 pesos for asset, 10,000 pesos for liability, and 6,200 pesos for owner's equity. Thus, we have a balance amount of 16,200 pesos. Did you get all the correct answers? I'm sure you did! Perfect! Congratulations! Well, that is all for now, and I hope that I am able to share something interesting and worth remembering about accounting. Thank you so much for your excellent participation. This is Teacher Chona saying, Ang bata alerto sa numero, ganado! See you next time! Goodbye!